and welcome to our kitchen here in Brittany in northwest France. If you're new, well, welcome and I'm glad you're here. My name is Jane, my husband is Michael and he's behind the camera. We are early retirees in our mid-50s, retired and living in France and we live a really thrifty and frugal life and that includes being very thrifty with food in our kitchen. So let's take a look at what we cooked for you this week. Now as you can tell by the accent and it's a complete giveaway, I'm British. And if there's anything that we British people like, it's a good old banger, bangers and mash, sausages, we love them. Now, I'm gonna show you ways that you can use sausages or sausage meat, as I did, to make two really interesting things. First of all, I made meatloaf, and secondly, I made meatballs. Now, if you're in the UK, you can just buy sausages really cheaply, they already have an element of stuffing in them. If not, or if you just want to make them go further, you can add a bread mix to that. Or as you can see, as I did in one of it, I didn't use a bread mix, I used some cereals. So, here's my recipes for the week. They're really cheap and so thrifty, and I really hope that you enjoy them. my really simple meatloaf. All I'm going to take is sausage meat and French sausage meat has no stuffing in it, it has no rusk in it, no bread in it. It's This is just 500 grams of ground pork and it's got herbs and garlic and things in it already. And I have here a packet of stuffing mix. It has dried herbs, it has dried garlic, it has dried onions and sage already in it. And I will reconstitute this with water and then I will combine these together. And that is all I'm going to put into my meatloaf. There are a million different recipes for meatloaf. Make it whatever way you want. What I'm trying to show today is how you don't need a joint of meat to have a nice roast dinner and this is a really cheap and tasty compromise. Now what makes a roast dinner so lovely are roasted potatoes and you British you just love roasted potatoes so here are some potatoes they are cooked all the way through but they are not mushy I'm gonna add some oil plenty of salt toss them in the oil and salt and then add them to a baking tray and stick them in a hot oven at 200 degrees C and they will go in with the meatloaf for between 40 minutes and an hour. And that's what I'm going to do. the finished meatloaf. Now a great thing to put on top of meatloaf would be barbecue sauce, ketchup and it has a sugar content to it and it crisps up the top. I used sweet chilli sauce on top of mine and here we have the roast potatoes and seasonal savoy cabbage and carrots and I always say this you know what we British people love on our meat and we love to have some gravy. Who needs an expensive joint of meat when you can just have 
good old fashioned meatloaf. So next, I'm going to share with you how I make my pork in a creamy, spicy and lemony sauce. Sounds quite posh, doesn't it? But let's come back to our key ingredient of the day. Let's go down and take a look at my ingredients. Now, I have sausage meat. In the UK, you could use sausage meat, but by Far cheaper would be if you just went and bought regular sausages and took the skins off them. Regular British sausages already has rusk in it. We would call that breadcrumbs. Now, making this in France or anywhere, if you want it to stretch further, you're stretching and you're bulking. Now, as you can see here, I have the sad remains of a packet of cornflakes. I'm literally going to bash these to pieces with a rolling pin, and those are going to be my breadcrumbs. They're gluten free. Now, you could use bought breadcrumbs, they're very cheap. Or you could take a loaf of bread, stick it in the oven till it goes dry put it in the food processor and make your breadcrumbs. To make the sauce, I am going to use creme fraiche. That is a huge pot of it. Just a little over a euro for that, or I think it was about a euro. However, if you can't get creme fraiche and you're in the UK and you see a pot of single cream going for a song, Use that. Same in France. If someone sees a pot of single cream and it's going on offer, on sale, or it's cheaper, use that. Alternatively, you could use a couple of pots of natural yogurt. However, when you cook natural yogurt, it is prone to splitting. So what you can do if it splits is you can add a teaspoon of corn flour, cornstarch you call that in America, and it will stop it from splitting. My other ingredients are the zest and juice of one lemon, however, I've got two, I might use two. Normally you would use one fresh chilli in this, I don't have any, and if I do buy them, they go off, so I buy dried chilies. And you could have it with pasta. But if you want to stretch this to be a meal for a family of four, add a great big pot of mashed potatoes. Add plenty of winter vegetables. I've got carrots here. And of course, add, I mean, all of that broccoli was one euro. Bulking and stretching doesn't mean stodge. It means fresh vegetables too. So, I'd better get preparing and show you how I make this.
And there is the finished dinner. So I have made the meatballs. And you saw me add some stock to that. My apologies, I didn't show you that. So in, in total, I added 250 mils or a cup of stock. All I used was boiling water and a beef stock cube. Why did I use beef? Because that's what I've got. And I've served that with broccoli, mashed potatoes and carrots. And just to show you, I'll tip the camera back. One, two, three, four dinners. Two we will eat today and two we will eat tomorrow. And it shows how you can make just one packet of sausages or one packet of sausage meat feed four people. So there it is. Pork with a spicy and lemony and creamy sauce. the world there's some version isn't there of a meatloaf and I'm sure you do yours your way and I hope you haven't been offended by me doing mine my way I think all over the world people make some kind of meatballs in some way or another and I'm sure all over the world you can buy either some kind of sausage meat or some kind of sausage I know in the UK you definitely can there so I really hope that you enjoyed those. They were very low cost. They really were an example of stretching and bulking and making a cheap ingredient go a very long way. Now, I love the sharing community that we have here. Tell me your favorite recipe, either using sausages or sausage meat. And I'll tell you what, I'd love it if you could leave me a recipe I tell you what, I might even cook one of them one day. If you've enjoyed the video, go on, give it a like. Last of all, if you're not a subscriber, make sure that you hit the button and become a subscriber. And if you are a subscriber, make sure you hit that little notification bell so you don't miss our videos. We genuinely appreciate every one of you for dropping by to our little home. And we'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.